videos related to third sem design digital design and computer organization subject in my previous video i have briefly described the functional unit this concept is not much important in video but you should have a brief knowledge of what is a functional unit so that it will be easy for you to continue with the next concepts so uh, in my previous video i have described this but i request you all to go through the definition once in the description that i have provided in my earlier previous video so let's get into the next very much important concept that you have to learn and it is a compulsory video question and we can ex expect around 10 to 12 marks from this question that is the basic operational concept for that i request you all to go through this diagram this box uh, that is very much important if you all write this box i can guarantee you guarantee you that you will get three marks from this diagram alone which is easy which is absolutely easy you can score three marks from this diagram main memory and inside the box you have pc ir control alu and i will be describing what this functional box individual functional box does shortly so let's get into the concept i request you all to practice this diagram once or twice so as mentioned you can see pc here pc is nothing but program counter so what does a pc does so pc contains pc contains the address of nest instruction to be fetched and executed simple pc is nothing but a program counter what does it contain it contains the memory address and of the nest instruction to be fetched and executed just one line definition if you write this a uh, half mark or one mark can be allocated so we'll start from the beginning so that it will be easy so what is main parts of the processor so you, we have two parts here one is the main memory and other is the processor first we'll go through what this processor processor as mentioned in that block it contains an alu i can show you here see it contains an alu control circuitry see this is control circuitry and many register one two and n minus one general purpose register it contains and n in general purpose register that is r not two r n minus one these are the general purpose registers so if you write this you will get another another one mark so done so next we have we will see what is ir ir is instruction register so what does this instruction register does it holds that it holds the instruction that is currently being executed this is an important definition holds the instruction that is currently being executed what does the pc does it contains the memory address of the nest instruction to be fetched in executor whereas the instruction register that is the ir holds the instruction that is currently being executed remember what this holds and what that holds then you will be getting around some three marks and with that diagram somewhere around five marks if i am i'm teaching you all on the basis of marks you all can score easily so next next is control unit what does this control unit does it generates the timing signal that determines when a given action is to take place so we saw what does the pc does i will repeat once again pc is a program counter that holds the memory address address remember pc is equal to address it holds the memory address of nest instruction joby instruction we fetch and execute okay nest instruction but ir ir is a it holds the inst also instruction that needs to be executed currently but pc is something that will hold the address this is address and this is memory this is address of the memory and this one is the instruction it holds the instruction fine done we saw all this thing so next is control control circuitry which will generate signal just remember generates a signal that's all if you write a control a control security generates the signal is more than enough that is timing signal signal anything is fine that determines when a given action is to take place fine what happens during the execution of instruction so as you all know i have told that pc will hold the instruction next instruction to be fetched and executed that is what i mentioned here are updated to point to the next instruction it will point to the next instruction and what does this mar mar stands for memory address register which i have mentioned here stands for memory address register and it holds the address of memory location to be accessed where does this, this mar comes all this mar mtr and um, that i have mentioned here will come here process memory interface it will be placed here that you can find in your textbooks so mr will hold the address remember address is a key point here you have a sorry 
year okay fine one second year you have a a ka matlab address so it will hold the address remember in that way so it holds the address address of what it should hold it should hold the address of memory that's all simple and next comes the memory data register which short form is mdr d ka matlab data so it can see here i have made it easy for you all mar holds the address mdr holds the data which is easy to remember to be written mdr contains the data to be written into or read out of the address location fine so last point that you have to write is it facilitates the communication with the memory and both mar and mdr what does it does it does it facilitates the communication with the memory fine next steps to execute an instruction what are the steps that are required to execute an instruction there are almost 10 steps which i will make it easy for you all in the next video in this video just understand the main parts of the processor and this diagram in the next video we will continue with the part 2 thank you